This week on The Wire, pandemic changes buying patterns, one in four homes worth over $1 million, and home building boom to continue. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest, and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate, where you can get all the top stories happening this week in real estate, finance, investment, and more. And kicking it off with our top story for this week, pandemic changes buying patterns. So the way Australians buy property has changed during the pandemic, and two of the big four banks predict the trend will continue. Now, Commonwealth Bank Research says younger Australians have worked out they can get around affordability issues by banding together with their mates to buy their first home. Now, it found two-thirds of first-home buyers say the high cost of property has led them to consider pooling resources with friends to get into the market. Now, NAB Research found 20% of home buyers now want a property with an area that allows working or studying from home, and they are more likely to consider buying in a lifestyle location. NAB's executive home ownership, Andy Kerr, says the pandemic has impacted the lives of millions of Australians, particularly with how and where they want to live. He says, without the daily commute, people are looking at the suburbs that haven't been available in the past as a viable option to actually own a piece of land and build a house. Now moving on to our next story, one in four homes worth over a million dollars. So one in four Australian homeowners are now living in a property worth more than a million dollars. Now the housing boom throughout Australia means the value of Australia's housing stock has increased substantially, and that's according to CoreLogic Research. Now nationally, about 5% of homes are now worth more than $2 million. The research reveals property owners in Greater Sydney are now more likely to live in a $1 million home with 52% of homes worth more than $1 million, and about 16% of homes now worth $2 million or more. More than a third of homeowners in Greater Melbourne now have a property valued at more than a million dollars. Now, CoreLogic figures shows that house prices have surged throughout Australia in the past year by over 20% and in some capital cities and many regional markets. Buyer's agent Rich Harvey says the past two years have been the perfect economic storm for property owners, with homes for sale down 30% but by a big rise in demand at the same time. Now guys, moving on to our final story of the week. Home building boom to continue. So Australia's residential building boom looks set to continue into 2022, with new figures revealing 191,000 properties will be built next year. Housing Industry Association Senior Economist Tim Reardon says 2022 will be one of the best years on record, although not at the same level of 2021, which experienced a huge surge as a result of the home builder stimulus. Now Reardon says, we will be doing 120,000 next year, so still one of the better years on record. Victoria is expected to have the largest number built with a forecast of almost 38,000 new homes, followed by New South Wales with just over 25,000, uh, Queensland with just under 25,000, and Western Australia with just over 20,000. Now there are 9,000 houses expected to be built in South Australia in 2022, followed by Tasmania, which have 2,500 houses built, and the ACT at 1,283. Now the Northern Territory plans to build only 610. Now Ridden says the housing industry is still struggling with the shortage of materials, and availability of trades. Well, guys, they are the top stories happening this week. Now, please don't forget to like, comment, and share this video, and follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Have a great week, and remember, there's only one thing that makes a difference, guys. That's action. Thanks a lot, and bye for now.